This weekend, David Bowie and David Byrne, two of the most famous names in the world of rock, join forces with a string of other stars to lend their support to a celebration of 40 years of innovation at the Institute of Contemporary Art in London, which is noted for its creative and often daring shows and exhibitions. The two-day event to raise funds for the ICA started tonight at the Dominion Theatre. In exclusive interviews for Newsnight, David Byrne and David Boy told Wesley Kerr why they decided to pay tribute to this famous and controversial venue for experimental art. rehearsing tonight in London with Canadian dance company La 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 for what they're calling a specially conceived seven-minute wonder. Though his only performance anywhere in the world this year is a tribute from him, one contentious icon of the post-war avant-garde, to another, the Institute of Contemporary Arts. ICA, I've been coming to them for years and years, uh, taking in everything from Bertolucci lectures to... Um, lunch so it's it's uh, been sort of a stable part of i think a lot of our lives i mean it's a, it's a terrific concern arguably david bowie is a one-man ica both have gone from being enfant terrible of the 60s to less certain middle years both have experimented with the cross fertilization of different art forms but perhaps that's harder for an artist than for an institution I have a feeling for an idea or, or a sort of a, a sensibility that I want to put out, then I generally try and choose the, the medium that I should use to do that in, whether it's, a, for me, privately a painting or a song or a piece of theatre. Shocking or not, David Bowie's contribution at tonight's ICA concert was certainly innovative. And if it stimulates debate, he might argue that's exactly what contemporary art from individuals and institutes should do. It's absolutely essential to let new, either new talent through or talent which maybe has been overlooked or not listened to. I mean, it's a, and it's also a great place for experimentation. And there are a few places, really, where you can have an audience who are going to be willing to be interested and curious about the experiments of artists. Waiting. 